What's up, everyone? Should the Eagles take a running back in the upcoming draft? They already signed Jordan Howard, who I'm not quite the fan. And I knew that people would react the way they did, especially when I, I saw the news. I went on Twitter and I, I saw how people were reacting. I kind of, I mean, people have been talking about it since last year. Uh, I think during like week four, I think they were talking about it. And I, I kind of, it didn't really make sense to me why the Bears held on to him anyway, because they had uh, Benny Cunningham, which is not the same as Jordan Howard, but with what they were doing with Jordan Howard, he could have filled in just fine. Um, he's not going to be as patient, but honestly, Jordan Howard's patience is great, but behind the Bears blocking, it doesn't really shine as much. They definitely had issues. They definitely struggled with blocking at the beginning of the season last year, and it got better towards the end of the season, but Behind the Eagles offense, it's obviously an upgrade. Uh, I don't know exactly when Brandon Brooks is gonna come back, but when the Eagles offense is back to full, offensive line is back to full strength, then yeah, obviously it's gonna be a better fit for him. He can catch out of the backfield, but what I've noticed is that after the catch, when he gets hit by a defender, he goes down. And not to say that he is frail and just, you know, can't absorb a hit. He definitely absorbs hits, but it's like um, the unstoppable force all of a sudden gets overpowered by the immovable object, you know? Obviously, it's all about physics. Some guys know how to position themselves to maybe spin off of a block, maybe juke someone out. They know how to slow down and do that. With him, it's just, it's like he's... Uh, Bowser and Mario Kart, like, or, or Donkey Kong. He just gets up to speed and then, you know, he doesn't have the finesse, obviously. But, I mean, I have seen him make, you know, jump cuts, things like that. Uh, like I said, he's a, he's a patient runner, so that's nice. He can wait for his blocks to develop. I've actually seen him make decent cuts. Um... But he he does seem, at least in the at least in the catching game, he seems to not really fight for yardage. Now in the running game, he consistently falls forward, and that's great. He consistently falls forward for two, three yards, and tack that on to a simple three, four yard run. That's great. That's really great, especially behind the Eagles blocking. That is now going to have an off season with Carson Wentz working together besides Brandon Brooks. That's great. That's really great. That's really good news. But one of the things that the Eagles really like to do that they've always done, especially since Andy Reid, is this sort of scat back kind of confusing backfield. One of the biggest, um, one of the, uh, one of my most favorite players, especially in the Eagles uh, franchise is Brian Westbrook. And I would I, I remember going to uh, games when I was younger and, and actually wa watching Brian Westbrook in person. I actually used to, I've been going to games since uh, Ricky Waters was the featured back. Uh, but like Westbrook, Deuce Staley, um, even LaShawn McCoy. Now, LaShawn McCoy had an unbelievable skill set. Westbrook didn't have the, the full skill set that McCoy had. Westbrook was amazing, especially in the passing game. And he could slip through the, through the tackles as well. McCoy had a little bit more power behind him. And he was just, you know, he could bounce it outside so easily, turn on the Jets. I mean, you know, to... McCoy was to me was was the total package as far as like the Eagles running backs go but now they have so this is basically another point to why the Eagles should not take a running back in the upcoming draft they have Jordan Howard who can move the chains who will be able to move the chains consistently 
fall forward consistently. If he does a mediocre job of running the ball, the Eagles could sign him to another, uh, you know, make it or break it sort of deal. And they could act, that's fairly reasonable. I don't really see Jordan Howard having a breakout year behind the Eagles running game. I see him doing very well, but he's going to be not breakout material, but more serviceable. And that's exactly what the Eagles are trying to do. They're trying to take pressure off the passing game so that when they actually go to pass with all these weapons that they have, they have, you know, Alshon, Jeff, uh, Alshon Jeffrey, they've got um, Deshaun Jackson, they've got their two tight ends, they've got Nelson Aguilar, they can throw the ball down the field, they've got, um, they can, you know, carve you up in the slot. Um, and then they've got just consistent Jeffrey on the outside. And now they've got Jordan Howard, which is going to be able to sit behind his blocks and uh, blockers and, and allow the running lane to develop consistently. Then you've got Corey Clement and Wendell Smallwood coming out of the backfield. And you can also flip those guys so that you don't always have to have Jordan Howard in there for a run. Wendell Smallwood, in my opinion, has actually improved quite a bit over this last year. I see him fighting for yardage consistently. He's not going to bowl you over, but he consistently fights for yardage. And Clement is so good in the passing game. He's he's not he he's a little stiff in the hips. He's not going to shake someone off of him. But with all the other distractions going on in the offense, He's going to be left wide open. You have him come up through the the trenches and then, you know, a quick cut out and he's open in the flat. So I don't think that the Eagles should take a running back in the draft. I mean, you I'm sure you kind of came to that conclusion by the title of the video. But um, it just doesn't make sense to me because in recap they signed Jordan Howard. He's going to be a serviceable, a serviceable back. They've got two scat backs that are perfectly good in uh, the passing game. And Wendell, like I said, Wendell Smallwood is uh, very complimentary in the run game as well. Clement can also run, but he's not going... You need clear defined lanes for Clement to make it happen. This is a defense-heavy draft, obviously. So don't take a running back. Just stack up. Take an offensive tackle in the first round. Whether it's Cody Ford, Greg Little, Andre Dillard. Honestly, I'm the biggest on Cody Ford. If they can get Cody Ford with the 25th pick, that's fantastic. Even if not, try for uh, Titus Howard in the second round. And they could get a steal. Someone, someone is going to fall to them with the 25th pick. With everyone talking about more quarterbacks saturating the first round, and possibly you've got two tight ends moving into the first round, um, depending on where the Dolphins draft, they might take uh, Jeffrey Simmons if they take him in the first round. I've seen scenarios where Simmons goes in the second. It's hard to say, but I happen to think that Simmons is going to go in the first half. With all that saturation, the Eagles are definitely going to walk away with um, the offensive tackle that they want, which they could even draft up a little before, but I wouldn't advise that. But then again, I'm not Howie Roseman nor do I pretend to be. Or they can walk away with um, a really good pass rusher or um, whether it's on the outside or the inside. They're basically with the 25th pick, they're going they're going with uh, someone in the trenches. They're not going cornerback. That gets on my nerves when I see people, I see these guys um, with their mock drafts talking about, um, I mean, I, I like Trayvon Mullen. Um, I see them talking about DeAndre Baker. It's not going to happen. They're not taking. They're not taking. Um, they're not taking a cornerback. 
they're not even gonna take safety. They would wait until the second round to take safety, and they're gonna take a cornerback later. It's not gonna happen. Plus, Sidney Jones is coming back, which he played a little bit last year. I know injuries were a concern. I, I have I have faith that um, this is gonna be a, a, a big step forward for him. You're gonna see a lot more of Avante Maddox. You're gonna see more of Craven LeBlanc. Um, Rasul Douglas has, um, Rasul Douglas is a playmaker. I know he's not the, he's, if he had more speed, he would definitely be, um, he would definitely be uh, starting on the outside, 100%. But it seems like every time he comes into the game off the bench, he picks the ball off. It just, it just seems like he, he is a playmaker. Uh, he's, he's a little underrated, I think. But anyway, the Eagles should not take a running back in this draft. And that's my case. Thanks for watching.